When the rain doesn't fall on the Sahel in Niger, Rocky Ajaje's cattle grow thin. There is not enough grass to feed them. And her crops, millet and groundnuts, wither and dry up under the relentless sun. Harang irgo sendei bovar. Haro amante gaburi. Ir almane kogandi giga subomo amante. 250 million people worldwide live in dry land areas and desertification is spreading. As climate change is shaping the landscape, the World Bank contends that farmers and governments have to change with it. According to the bank, the best way to help farmers like Rocky Ajaje is with drought-resistant crops and new ways to store and deliver water. For arid regions, this is crucial. Less than 12 percent of the land in Niger is fertile. And the predictions are that by 2050, because of increased droughts, there will be about a 30 percent reduction in agricultural productivity in that country. That's a huge, huge impact on the poorest people in the country. And again, the least able to deal with these impacts. Rocky Ajaje is barely surviving, and helping her in a changing world will cost money and take time. The old patterns of rain, drought, rain, no longer predict the future. What matters now are new ways of thinking about climate, crops, water, money, and survival.